Hi everybody, today I have another golfing speaker from McGolfin. It's the X10. There is only one reason why this is marketed as a golfing speaker, and that's because on the back there is a big magnet that you can use to magnetically mount this speaker to any flat metallic surface, such as what you might find on a golf cart. You are not going to find an RGB light show on the McGolfin X10, but what you will find are a lot of features that I think you will love. Underneath this weatherized rubber door, you are going to find the USB-C charging port, three and a half millimeter auxiliary input port, TF card slot, and a USB memory stick slot. When you have seen as many Bluetooth speakers as I have, and you come across a panel like this, you think, Hmm, is it waterproof? Yes, it is. This is an IPX7 waterproof speaker. And what that means is that you can throw this speaker in a body of water at a depth of three feet for 30 minutes and it will continue to perform. And I don't just take them for their word, I test it. I fill a sink with water and I put this in. And this speaker is so heavy that it sunk to the bottom of the sink. So it was submerged during my test the entire time. Not, and I actually fell asleep while I was playing, <laughs> while I was testing this. So it actually was tested for an hour and uh, fantastic. X10 IPX7 certified by me, waterproof. And did you happen to notice this? Yes, the X10 has a built-in flashlight or a strobe light for emergencies. Sadly, the X10 has the industry standard buttons, long press, short press, barely readable, essentially unlabeled buttons. That's just the way of things. I give up. In addition to the magnetic mounting system, the X10 also includes this built-in carabiner. And when you're not using it, it snaps back into place for storage. And there is also a threaded mounting hole where they include this bracket. The magnets on the McGolfin X10 are extremely strong. I cannot imagine a situation where you have this mounted on a smooth, flat, metal surface and there's just no way this thing is going to accidentally fall off. No way. It takes some strength to pull it off. In this light you can clearly see the dual 45 millimeter 15 watt speakers for a total of 30 watts of power. But what's this oblong shape in the middle? I don't expect a lot of bass when I test a speaker of this size, but I was shocked. There is a surprising amount of bass that comes out of the McGolfin X10s. There is a trick to getting the most out of this or any speaker, and that is don't max the volume. A three-quarter volume or less, you will get crisp highs and lovely mid-ranges and very satisfying bass. And that's what we all want, isn't it? The McGolfin X10 has a 5,200 milliamp hour battery that will give you 36 hours of playtime. Or... You can also use this as a power bank for your USB charging devices. This speaker has a solid, rugged, scratch-resistant surface that I wouldn't worry about damaging. This metal grill is probably the weak point of it, and you might get a dent in it if you dropped it wrong, but I really, this is built to last. Of course, McGolfin supports true wireless stereo, also known as TWS. And if the budget allows, sure, get two of these because it's going to sound great in stereo mode. I think you would have a tough time trying to find a speaker that's this size that sounds as good as the McGolfin X10. And it's not just for golfing. I don't know why they market it that way, but this is an all occasion, all environment, all weather speaker that you are going to love. I have no problem giving this a five out of five rating. Thanks for stopping by.